What is the role of radiation in the treatment of cancer of the uterus or endometrium? This is one of a series of cancer videos that can be found on the website aboutcancer.com. Cancer of the endometrium is the most common GYN malignancy. Women have a 2.6% lifetime risk, average age 61, and most cases present at an early stage. The anatomy of the uterus is important. Surgery generally includes removing the uterus and cervix as well often as the ovaries and tubes. The internal anatomy is important. The cancer arises in the endometrium or lining and invades the myometrium. Cross-sectional anatomy is important in understanding and interpreting CTs, PET scans, or MRIs. A PET scan can be very helpful in a GYN malignancy. The cancer is noted, starts in the endometrium and can invade the muscle or spread elsewhere. The prognostic factors that predict cure rates include the stage, the degree of muscle invasion, the grade, how mutated the cells are, and the histology, the specific type of cancer under the microscope. Stage reflects the amount of deep muscle invasion and spread elsewhere, particularly lymph node spread, which is important. Uterine cancer can spread to both pelvic and paraortic lymph nodes. Paraortic mean the lymph nodes that surround the aorta higher up in the abdomen. This can be seen nicely on a PET scan at the time of surgery, the surgeon normally will do a PPLND, pelvic and paraaortic lymphadenectomy, and sample and remove these nodes. This is important for proper staging. Again, the stage would include the spread and the lymph nodes. The cure rate is quite high in the early stages and even favorable in more advanced stages. The cure rates are related to the grade or the microscopic type as well. Standard treatment then for uterine cancer starts with complete surgical removal, including the nodes. The pathology is then reviewed, and then decisions are made whether the patient would need only observation, vaginal radiation, pelvic radiation, or perhaps chemotherapy, or a combination. Research by the Gynecologic Oncology Group found that deep muscle invasion, high grade, or lymphascular space invasion were important predictors. And a young patient needed all three factors, but an older patient, 70 or older, only one factor, would put her into a high-risk group, and radiation would be recommended. The National Comprehensive Cancer Network has incorporated all these guidelines. These can be accessed directly at their website at nccn.org. For instance, a patient with a grade 1 superficially invaded cancer would need only observation. If it was a high grade and had deep muscle invasion, then she might need vaginal radiation, pelvic, or possibly even chemotherapy or a combination. The radiation doses and guidelines have been established and are standard as far as what's considered safe. If pelvic radiation is needed, the patient is simulated on a CAT scan. The anatomy is drawn into the computer. Often PET scans will be fused with the CAT scans. The treatments incorporate using lasers to target the tattoos and hit the proper area. A radiation cloud can be developed to surround the pelvic and periortic lymph nodes. And these are typical images from an image-guided IMRT approach. With the new machines, even groin nodes or more complicated areas can be radiated safely. Tomotherapy or image-guided IMRT is a very useful device in treating gynecological malignancies. This is a case where the tomotherapy was used to treat complicated regions. Vaginal radiation is generally called HDR, high dose rate. A vaginal tube or applicator is used. The patient has this inserted into the vagina after her surgery, and the applicator is attached now to a machine. CAT scans will be used to determine the radiation dose to the bladder and rectum as well as the vagina. At the time of the treatment, the vaginal applicator is inserted. This has a hollow tube that will attach to a cable. The cable then will connect the vaginal cylinder to the high-dose rate or iridium device, and the treatments will take only a few minutes. This is done as an outpatient. Side effects of radiation are dependent on the organs that are near the radiation. Pelvic radiation has a higher risk of side effects the small bowel may be affected with cramps or diarrhea or even low-grade nausea. The colon or rectum can be affected 
diarrhea, even rectal bleeding. The bones can even be affected by radiation, a small risk of radiation, osteitis. The bladder can be affected, urinary burning or frequency. The vagina can be affected, so some vaginal irritation or drainage. The HDR internal vaginal radiation has a smaller risk of side effects, but a higher risk of vaginal irritation, dryness, or even stenosis. All the details can be found on the website about cancer.com. Cancer of the uterus or endometrium is a very favorable cancer, generally treated with surgery and on some occasion post-operative radiation.